back to my channel my name is Tracy and I'm really excited to have you here today so if you don't know me I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Central Victoria in Australia and I do a Sunday Facebook challenge every single week so it's the 4th of July today so happy 4th of July to all my American friends and for our challenge this week I should have thought of it a little bit better than I have but I've gone with tags maybe I should have done stars <laughs> anyway so it's tags this week and I can't wait to see what everyone creates. Now I didn't go with a card, I have created a little treat bag which I'm super excited to show you. I've also used the suite in the annual catalog called You're a Peach. This, this peach suite is so beautiful. But let me show you the little project that we're gonna to create today. This little treat bag, you certainly can't hold a lot in it but when you're doing little treat size treats, this would be perfect for little birthday parties or just a thank you at Christmas time these work really well at Christmas time but this is what we're going to create all the products I'm using for today's project can be seen in the description of this video they are clickable links you can also head over to my blog where all those links are there as well we're using Sweet as a Peach Bundle, the crinkled white seam binding ribbon, and we have that beautiful You're a Peach DSP. I'm also using a tag topper, and you can use whatever you have. For today's project, I'm using the fancy tag topper punch. The one I used, which was the scallop one, is actually really tired, and I didn't realize it. Anyway, so you can use what you have in your stash. So I'm using the Yora Peach Designer Series paper and this paper is gorgeous. I'm just quickly showing you through um, some of those patterns. We're going with those little peaches in the background and the pear pizzazz cardstock. So you're going to um, grab a piece of Designer Series paper. This measures six by four inches. All the measurements are over on my blog, so go over and check those out. Don't have to worry too much about those dimensions. So we're gonna score at seven eighths, two and three quarters, three and five eighths and five and a half inches. And then we're going to orientate our bag to the bottom of our bag and we're going to score that at 7 eighths of an inch and that's going to give us our base of our bag. Before we pop our bag together we're going to get a few of our elements done. So I have a piece of the basic white and this is just scrap pieces. We're also using these three little peaches in the one stamp and I'm just quickly showing you the sentiments. So I'm using pale papaya in color which is a beautiful color and a sponge dauber to add a little bit of calypso coral ink that just creates a little bit of darkness so there's a little bit of depth on those peaches now it stamps three at a time um, and you can cut three out at a time so you, you're only using one on on this particular project but if you're making a ton of them this makes really quick and easy work so I'm just going to grab that sentiment it's your day and this little treat bag can be for anything so I love that little sentiment so we're growing some of those dies from that kit I'm also using a scrap piece of pear pizzazz for that little leaf for the top of that peach so I'm just going to glue our little top leaves onto leaf leaves onto that peach and then we can cut out our sentiment now we have a layering piece of the pale papaya cardstock as well and you can use your trimmer, you could use scissors, whatever you can work with well. For me I don't cut straight very well. I can use long handled scissors and long bladed scissors and they work a little bit easier for me to get a nice straight line. But I do struggle keeping everything straight. So I'm just trimming this down a little bit and honestly some people work really well with scissors. So we have that pale papaya piece as well. See how I muck around a little bit? I can't get it straight. So the pale papaya piece is just um, one and a half by five eighths of an inch. And it's just gonna go nicely in that middle. So using liquid adhesive to pop those together, we have our elements almost ready to go. So I'm just gonna fold and score on all those score lines. And isn't the opposite side of this paper really beautiful as well? So you could choose yourself if you would like, um, maybe to use the other side. So to create this bag, this is a really simple bag. We're going to chop off that corner tab 
and notch in. So that is our tab that's going to pop the box together. You're going to cut up on all those score lines and those little tiny tabs we're going to miter cut in as well just so the bag goes together quite well. And you just need a real slither. Next we're going to bring in the tear and tape and we're going to run a strip down the side tab and then also on that bottom tab on the bottom of the box or bag as well. While we're doing that, um, if you're in need of any of the supplies that I've used on today's project or in any other supply that you may need, you can purchase them in my online store. I have some wonderful specials every single month for all my customers. The first being a handmade card, the second one being a bundle tutorial, and then a third one is always something different for each month. So if you haven't seen what my special is, um, check that out over on my blog. Okay, so I have a piece of Peppers As card. This is two by three inches. We're going to score it at one and a half and one and five eighths. That is going to give us that top piece of our tab. And it just helps the box to fit some things in it. I'm going to bring in our fancy tag topper punch. And we're just going to punch off one end. And I'm using the slightly larger end to, to cut off with the tag. We're just going to line it up. It's always easier to turn it round and have a look at exactly where you're punching. So we're going to glue that back piece onto our bag. So you want to make sure that you have your back of the bag facing the back. That's where you're attaching that piece of glue. Because I'm using the liquid adhesive, you are going to want to hang on to it just for a minute or so just to make sure that it is held securely. So I'm just placing that tag over. I've laid a mark in the center of our bag and bringing a hole punch in to create that hole. We have that Whisper White crinkled seam binding ribbon that I'm just getting a length of. We're going to push it through that hole and then I'm going to tie a couple of knots. Actually, I think it's four in all. You want to make sure that the knots are big enough that it's not going to pull back through the bag. So I think I do four, but it depends on how many knots you need. And then we're going to finish off decorating this gorgeous bag. Just pulling it through and yeah, it's not going to get through, so it'll be fine. Once we've threaded it through our tag topper punched piece, we're going to just tie a nice little bow and that really keeps that nice and shut nicely. We're just going to quickly add our elements so our little peach we're going to pop up with some dimensionals and we're also popping up that sentiment with dimensionals as well and you can see the second one that i've cut down i've cut down a lot more on the basic white cardstock than what i have on my first one but it's fine it's all good while we're finishing off this little treat bag, I would love to just say head over to my blog and sign up for my emails. I send out monthly inspiration as well as what's going on in the stamping up world and what I'm doing at the moment. So hopefully we'll come over and join in. All right, there we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this gorgeous little treat bag and you'll come over and join in this week's challenge of tags. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that as well. Now you can purchase any of the products that I've used on today's project in my online store. They are linked in the description of this video, but you can head over to my online store and purchase anything there as well. I'll be back with another video for you really soon and I would really love it if you come and joined in this week's challenge. So I'll see you then. Are you hearing my words? I'm saying to you, cause I'm